have um, some monies in there for your wellness program, and um, you should be seeing within the next um, couple of years what are the effects of your health um, or your wellness program are. Sleep manager, again, that's where the um, equipment fund is paid back, and then they charge those rental rates from the departments um, who have vehicles and equipment, and those are based on historical usage. Um, Self-insurance for workers' compensation, um, not a whole lot of change in that. Um, when you look at it, um, your revenues for all funds are down 12.64%, and your expenditures are down 2.33%. <coughs> Questions specifically about the information that we will review uh, now and then take maybe a uh, 10 minute break. Good. Come back and then we'll go back to the review. So, is, are there any questions uh, for us regarding how we reached the uh, balance? Would you like just like to commend you and Stephanie? Because uh, Davina had two weeks ago had me uh, really uh, up. And I uh, like to say, doing three as you really did. So I, I like to just commend you on it. Of course, there are things you know, I'd like to see added, uh, but everything takes money. And uh, you know, kind of know we got to look forward to that in the future. Why? So. Well, thank you. Thanks. We, um, Stephanie and I, Stephanie various meetings with y'all, I think you all understood that we were very concerned that uh, this was the largest deficit that we had had that uh, we were not able to, at that point, find a way to uh, adjust. And uh, so after that, we, we began to do, as I indicated, go back and look at the historical data and, and see if there were actual things that we could uh, plot to be Stephanie said either an anomaly or a trend or maybe just uh, something that we could work with so that's how we got where we are and um, it is a very 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 fragile uh, budget as I've already indicated just by the comment regarding the sheriff and the clerk of court um, and even got it presented to you in a, in a balanced form and I'm already looking at uh, just the three individuals. So, yeah, the the most difficult part is going to be to be uh, whatever you do, beginning July one is adhering to this budget. Um, and as Stephanie already indicated, we do not have uh, significant reserves in case we have. I'm sorry, contingency. Uh, if we don't, if we have a roof or we have an air conditioning unit, we have a cold, um, that contingency will not be sufficient to cover that. Now, uh, the, oh, as I think I mentioned y'all, looking at the ratios for the county, while our budget is this tight, we still have uh, our 120 day reserve, um, and we we financially are in good shape overall. We just have a very, very, very tight budget that is uh, not to the hundreds, but to the pennies. So I just want to say also, uh, we don't have any reduction in force uh, schedule besides just those part-time, what was the, uh, the wayside. Uh, workers that was part-time right that was the only reduction in force that we had for flesh units no there's no uh furloughs no reduction in force the only thing that there are some positions not funded because we anticipate that throughout the history on an annual basis there's a certain number of positions in both the jail and 911 that historically remain vacant throughout the years due to the high turnover rate. That is a, an area of concern.
concern, uh, but it is one that we will keep a close eye on. So, yeah. good to go. Again, I, as Commissioner Marshall had said, uh, to be commended, I've come up here many, many days and find Stephanie and Joe, as I call it, back there in the cave with both of them's heads in their hands trying to figure out what their next move was and what they were going to be able to do as things were constantly changing. So this hasn't been easy to get to this point, uh, as, you, as you all understand. Mm -hmm economic situation that, we, that we're in with revenues and everything down. It, it is very, very tight and it's been quite a struggle to get there, but they're to be committed for the fact that it's gotten us at this point right now. We'll take a 10, 10 minute break and start back at five after. Okay, thank you.